Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be talking to you about what I have on my kit. And um, I'm gonna show you what I bring with me for setups and a little bit of tips that I learned along the way when setting up for a client. So today is a little bit of a different video than normal, but I hope you guys enjoy it. And for more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below and uh, leave me your comments, any questions you may have. And let's get started on telling you what I have on this little kit. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as I mentioned before in today's video, it's a little bit different. We're in a different setting right here. We're in my office and excuse the mess back there, but um, I wanted to do a quick video for you guys because I know there's been a lot of questions about what I bring for setups. So when I go to an event, I do a venue, what are my essential things that I bring into my kit? And um, so let me go ahead and get started. And it's very simple, you guys. You guys are gonna laugh when I tell you. First of all, this is my kit, okay? A backpack. Simple, practical, nothing like, you know, crazy. Because I just need to put this backpack on, good to go. I have enough pockets for my uh, business cards, my license, my keys. Everything I need goes in here and it's easy to just carry and keep all your stuff together. So let me get started on showing you um, outside of just this backpack, other things that I bring with me. So first thing is I bring my electric pump. Now, many of you guys have seen this pump. I always use it for all my um, balloon, you know, designs and why not. And I think it is important for you to bring your electric pump because if it's an indoors, chances are there are outlets out there. So if you need to quickly fill in some gaps in your design, you can do the without like wasting any time. Um, outdoor setups, same exact thing. You may have outside outlets, but if you don't have an outlet, then you bring your um, manual pump. Okay, and yes, it's a pain in the butt because then you just have to like continue to, you know, pump some air manually, which could take longer, but it's always good to have. And um, for me in particular, I bring my electric pump with an extension cord, okay? Especially for outside setups. Like this right here brings its own extension cord, just like that, um, but sometimes i need it longer especially if it's outdoors so chances are you're gonna need it but some of the times you may not have access to an outlet and that's okay you can do um things manually but be prepared i always bring extra balloon you guys because you'll never know that you may you know either pop balloons on your way there or you know when you're setting up and then all of a sudden you find yourself without balloons, you need to fill in the gaps. So I always bring my pump and extra balloons, but we'll get into that. So I not just bring one, I actually bring two pumps, you guys, two pumps. And why? Because whoever's helping me might as well just get to pumping. And like the two of us, my assistant, we're just pumping balloons if we need to by hand, okay? So always carry, I always carry two of everything. So this is first off the most important thing I think you guys need to know to bring. The next thing that I bring is, um, I almost have like a clear, I'm gonna show you guys. I have this clear, it, everything goes in this bag by the way. I'm just easy access to taking everything out to explain to you guys into a video. But I have this clear case you can find them at the dollar store for makeup products or something, but I love that it's clear because I can see what I'm looking for and everything goes in here, okay? So a lot of the things that I carry in here are definitely balloon string. Now this, as you can see, I've used it a lot already, <laughs> so it's very skinny, but I bring two of these, you know? Um, so you can see here, I have a pink. This is from my last setup I had, you guys. So I haven't really cleaned up, but what I normally do is the night before an event, I 
start packing my kit. And I'm gonna tell you why. Normally I work with my balloons about two days prior to the event, especially if it's a garland because I want my balloons to be fresh. And being that I'm working with balloons, I don't want to pack my stuff because I use my stuff for that those garlands, you know, that are going to be pre-made, like the one you see on the back, kind of like that. So literally the night before the event, I start packing my kit. And it's almost like a mental checklist, but you can also help yourself with that. Make a checklist so you don't have to think. It just, you check, check, check. And you pack everything so you don't forget. Because the worst thing that could happen is you get to the venue and you forgot a pair of scissors. Right? So I always um, pack everything the night before. So as I was mentioning, I always bring a balloon string. And when I attach my garlands to, say, for instance, a stand or a frame, um, I always like to attach them with balloon string. I think they're so practical easy you cut and you're done good to go i have tried tying my garlands with fish line and it's the most annoying thing in the world because it's just so thin it just, you can't get it fast enough so i'm always bringing always bringing balloon string okay but that's not to say that i don't bring my fish line see i packed it here too just in case because you'll never know it when you will need it right so i don't use it as much for outdoor setups unless i have to and it depends on the design but i'm always bringing it because you'll never know okay so i always bring this as well and um you guys when you buy um sometimes helium tanks or any type of kits balloon kits whatever sometimes they bring balloon string just like this not that much but packed good i don't know if the light can see it you guys you can see it with the light but i saved them this is material and you know it's like a good to go so not only like bring my big roll but i also bring little packs just in case and you'll see me like sometimes i use like look i use them right so you see me like two or three packs i save them and i just have them just in case you know, not to say that I'm going to run out, but you'll never know. So, I bring these right here. Now, the most important thing I bring, scissors. You want to get yourself scissors. If you're a balloon decorator, you know you're going to be clipping, clipping, clipping the whole entire time. I bring at least three pairs of scissors. And I'm going to tell you why. Because my assistant also looks for scissors. So we win time by having everything. Like she has her own kit, I have my own kit, sorry to speak. Uh, and we don't have to be like, where's the scissor? Where'd you put it? Can you give it to me? Can I borrow it? Instead of doing all that, you have your own pair and we're good to go. You know, I mean, what are they? Like maybe a dollar at the dollar store, but sharp enough. So bring a good pair of Caesar, uh, scissors, right? And I always bring two to three. So next thing you guys, <laughs> I do bring double-sided tape my double-sided tape and my glue dots okay again you'll never know when you need them you may have a bouquet you may have some you know mylar balloons that have to go attached to the guard whatever the reason may be you may need your glue dots and your double-sided tape so i always bring them just in case and i don't know you guys i have sometimes i just pack stuff in here that I don't know if I'm going to need. I have a Sharpie. Hey, you'll never know when you'll need a Sharpie. <laughs> and funny enough, I have a straw. I'm going to tell you why a straw. So if you need to deflate a balloon, especially one of those um, like mylar balloons or foil balloons, you can use a, any type of um, straw or stick to get the air out. And I always have it with me, you know. Um, so I always have a straw just in case I have to deflate something and I don't want to pop it, but I need to deflate it. So I take that as well with me. See, this is like, it's not a straw, but it's, it's almost like a stick, but same thing. I deflate the balloons with these two. So I always bring them with me. So that's it for this right here. And, um, let me put it back. I don't want to be losing my stuff. <laughs> 
so that's so far like on the go what i get you guys oh and you know what another thing that is not really here i don't know where i left it i have to find it i um hold on maybe i can find it give me one second i think it's somewhere in here Okay, you guys, so I don't really know where it went. I have it somewhere. But anyways, I do have a, um, it's almost like a tool that has a sharp um, end to it. And um, I think it's really, it's almost like, it's like a stick with a sharp end at the end. I don't, it's a tool. I, I think it's more for crafting, almost like a needle. And I bring it with me in my kit to pop balloons. So if I have to, like quickly pop balloons or do a cleanup for a client i'll just go boop, 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 done you know you can do it with the scissors too but it's so much easier to pop it with like a pin you know just prick them so i don't know where it is but i probably have it somewhere high so my kids don't get it because they're sharp they're like a needle at the end you know if i find it i'll show it to you guys in another video but i do bring that and I also have twine string, okay? So I bring this twine because this is strong enough to tie things up. If I need to use it, uh, I'm always bringing this, okay? I kind of run out, so I will put it in my kit right here. Because um, on my Dora the Explorer setup, what I ended up doing is I used it to uh, tie the backdrop because the client didn't have a clue on how to hang it off of the tent. So um, I ended up just making a little incision and putting this through and I hang it with this. So this is always good to have because you'll never know, right? Sometimes it's actually stronger than balloon string. So I bring this with me and then I also bring, this is funny you guys, if I ever need to cut something stronger than just using a pair of scissors, I actually have this tool right here, it's super sharp, you guys. And basically, look, it's it's a plant clipper. So I can clip artificial, artificial flowers with this, um, wire, but it's really meant to be used for cutting flowers and the stems. So it's pretty sharp. But I bring it with me because you'll never know if you have to bend something or cut. Um, I always bring them in my kit as well. So I just took them out to show you guys. But it goes all in here. Organized, of course. <laughs> then the next thing I do bring, and not really in the box, I take them out, I put them in a Ziploc, and uh, pack them in, is um, command hooks. So these are the type of command hooks I use. I also use the clear ones if I need to. These are ones that I happen to have over there for the wall. And these hooks will not damage your wall as long as you know how to remove them. So follow the instructions because they are actually really good. But I've also chipped paint off of walls before by just not taking my time and yanking it way too early so learn how to remove your command hooks and you won't have a problem i promise that but um i keep some extra because if you are doing a um indoor um setup installation you will need command hooks and i suggest bringing a bunch not just two i'm just showing it to you but I will bring a bunch just in case, okay? So I get this stuff too. And what else? Oh, very important. <laughs> I'm in love with this thing right here. I bring my, I don't know if the light can pick it up, right there, you guys. My high shine solution, okay? I've talked about this before to you guys. High flow and high shine, best things ever invented, okay? <laughs> so. Um, this in particular, um, I love it because you just spray it and makes your balloons so 
shiny, okay? And it's just such a nice um, touch at the end of your setup because what's happening is, especially for outdoor uh, installations, when you hang up a garland, what happens is the minute you go out, the weather, the environment starts um, oxidizing the balloons. What does that mean, oxidizing? They turn opaque, okay? Very matted looking balloons. Sometimes it's a really good thing to age a balloon, right? The look is perfect, but sometimes you want them shiny. You don't want them to look dark and matted, especially darker balloons. So if you are a balloon decorator, a balloon designer, you'll know in hot weather to bring a black balloon is not the smartest no. idea. I suggest that when you do where um use your high shine and you spray it tell your clients that is in their best interest that kids are not around because you don't want kids to be inhaling this even though it's non-toxic i don't trust any product right so having said that um i have to say that this in particular it's the best thing ever and I also bring a paper towel. And I bring a paper, paper towel because as you can see, this is like a very white liquid and it takes about an hour for it to dissolve and like air out and dry. But sometimes if you put too much product, your product will start like dripping down into white little, like it starts to sweat almost like. So what you do is just wipe it out a little bit with a paper towel or why not, or a towel and you'll be good to go. But it takes about an hour and it works perfect. So I always bring this and extra paper towels for it, okay? And then the next thing I also have to say is I bring this right here. <laughs> at least one of them I bring, okay? A container and people look at me like, what? <laughs> Why are you bringing such a big container? This is where I keep my extra balloons, you guys. So for every setup that I have, I always buy extra balloons because chances are in the transition, you will burst a few. I mean, last time I landed by accident, I landed my balloons on the grass and guess what? Boop, 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 started disappearing because either sticks or the grass just poke my balloons you know so you got to be careful and um for that i suggest you definitely get extra balloons extra 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 and i bring the bags at times like as you see right here like i don't know if you guys saw my last setup was um my last setup was a football theme and the balloons were brown white and green and what i did was i just brought that's what you see over here. I have all these balloons right here. And I just bring a bunch of everything. And whatever I don't use after, I just store, you know. But um, I always want to make sure I have enough balloons here. So I also bring... See, here's my other scissor, you guys. <laughs> Things start appearing, you know. Um, this right here, I have my stretchy balloons. As you know me, I live by these stretchy balloons. I love my garlands to have stretchy balloons because I can style them at the venue however I want. It's not like stiff, you know, where you can't move it around. So I use these for everything. The one trick I'm gonna show you guys, which I am in love with, is when you have a cluster of balloons, like you see in the back, you have them, right? And you're doing a setup, and you need to fill in some gaps or why not? I call these um, bracelets. I'm gonna show you. So I get the air out so they become flat, right? And then I tie them at the end, okay? I tie each end just like this. Done. And this, you guys, it's a bracelet. And why do I need this bracelet? When I'm about to attach a um, cluster to a garland that's already set, I just go and stretch it on top, right? And hook the other one to the garland on the frame. And boop, good to go. I wish I, could, I had like a, I can't really touch this right here, but 
I'll um hopefully I'll do another video on my one of my videos I'll show you how I attach them but this is so simple you guys I mean who would instead of like having to tie them up and then roll them and tie them and you know why doing that where you can save time by just having these bracelets done you put it in the head of like let's just say I put this right here on this balloon and then I stretch it and marry another cluster so the two clusters can be together okay so and I bring like a zip lock with me of a bunch of these and if I don't have them made I mean how hard is it to just tie a knot and have them ready so I also bring singles just like this untied and uh, that helps me a lot with my um, garlands and my setup then the next thing I bring I don't have it with me but I bring a bed sheet so you know if you own a house if you've ever painted your house you chances are you have a um, a spare that you don't use bed sheet or even you can buy them at Walmart you know just for the heck of it so I bring a bed sheet two of them really and they're big and why do I bring them for my setup? I bring them because if my setup is outdoors and I have to put my balloon bags or why, or why not on the floor, sometimes the grass can poke the balloons and they and they get they pop, okay? So in order for me to limit them popping, I figured, okay, very simple. I'll just put a bed sheet on the ground lay my stuff on it my balloons and then i don't run the risk of popping my balloons you know and having to fill the gaps and extras so i bring two sheets with that i also bring um my ladders so i have two my two step ladder and one that has four okay um if i'm doing anything where i need some height you guys i'm only five three and a half so i'm not that tall but I do bring my ladder because if you are doing something outside, you definitely want to be higher. You need to bring your ladder done. I bring that with me as well. Um, I also mentioned that I bring my business cards in this pocket right here. And look at how cute. I don't know that you can see them you guys the light is too bright anyway so I bring my business cards with me and I have a bunch of them in here because at the end of every setup I give it to the client and I also give her or him a few just so that if they want to refer me out at some of the guests in the party they can hang them out you know if they remember so anyway so I bring a bunch of these I also you guys I keep looking at the ceiling because I just spotted a spider above my head all right and i think i'm gonna kill it <laughs> so anyways and i bring a pen you'll never know you need you may need it um what else do i bring you guys i think that's about it for now i don't think i bring anything else um outside of obviously my balloons um i do actually have extra Gar garbage bags you know um clear garbage bags i do bring this as well you'll never know you guys see i have string in here as well same same string oh the spider's over there okay <laughs> i think that's my cue to go but um if you guys have any other suggestions any questions um feel free to ask me on my comments below i certainly don't want to miss any of your questions you know and i hope you like you guys like videos like this because yeah it is fun to make designs for you guys and show you how to do tutorials but i think this is also an important aspect of the business in general and for those of you that are interested in doing this as a business venture so um you know there are things that you need to bring there are things you need to remember things that i have learned as the time has gone by so um why not just share it with you guys right um the other thing if i do big setup you guys where i need to bring my stands and you know my frames or my chairs whatever 
Um, it's always good to bring a blanket just so you don't damage anybody's property if you're moving things around or in your own car. Um, bring your hand sanitizer for sure. <laughs> like I've been bringing that. Um, I bring my mask, you know, but that goes without saying. When it comes down to balloons, these are my specifics and it's a must for me to bring all of these. Um, if anything pops in my head, um, at the moment of, you know, setting up my kit the night before, I may add it in there. But these are my essentials. My scissors, my glue dots, my strips, my balloon pumps, my high shine, paper towels, um, extra, extra balloons. Um, if you're having mylar balloons, I bring extra of those as well. Mm, my little bracelets, bands that I told you guys. My... Um, business cards oh most importantly water <laughs> i bring bottles of water because you guys you lose track of time when you're setting up and sometimes i have only two hours to set up or even less than that and i'm just grasping for like you know i'm just so thirsty half of the time so i also bring a couple you know bottles of water and that's it you guys so anyways i hope you enjoyed this video give me more ideas what, the, what other videos you would like me to do for you guys but i have some few things in mind for business related but this was all about what's in my kit and i hope you guys like um this video in particular and i'll see you on the next bye bye <music>